that in order to finish the journey, you got to enjoy the journey. There are hills on the journey. There are curves on the journey. There are hurdles on the journey. You don't enjoy leaping over hurdles, dealing with obstacles, but they are part of the journey. Some things are designed to be enjoyed. Others are designed to be endured. He that endures to the end, he's already telling you, you're not going to enjoy everything that happens on your journey, but endure it. Endure it. Endure it. You see that word? Endure it. You see the word endure? If I were you, I would write that down. I would type it down because you would write that word endure. E-N-D-U-R-E. Endure. Look at the first three letters. N. See the N from the beginning. The way that I'm able to endure it. If I endure it. You know, it's just like if you're living with somebody. And you know some of your in-laws come and move in with you for a while. You know how you endure that? It's just say I got 119 more days. And the next day, 118 days. You know, I mean, they say, I don't know whether this is true or not, but they say that in, after three days, both fish and guests start stinking. So when somebody comes, you count it down, see the end from the beginning. Just see the end. I know, I know your mom and them coming. They're going to be with us for two weeks. Look at me, got ten more days. Nine more days. Seven more days. Six more days. So only that you make it through if you can see an end to this thing. If you can see an end, I'm just telling you, if you can see the end, you can make it to the end. If I can see the finish line. If I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. If I can see my graduation time. If I can see the wedding date. If I can see the date of my diploma. If I can see it. My God, it gives me enduring power. I get motivated on the inside when I can see the end of it. When you get come around that curve and you can see the finish line. Don't you quit, just do it. 